Greetings, YouTube, and welcome to Somebody's Gotta Play It. This is a series where I will look at games that people have probably never heard of or don't take seriously or are just bizarre. And I present you our first game now. <laughs> As a kid and got a hold of a nickel, I thought I was rich. I didn't turn up my nose at pennies either. Today, some folks won't even bend to pick them up. Well, here's a bowl of steaming Quaker oatmeal. And I can't think of a healthier way to start the day. Cost you one nickel and four pennies. So if you can't be bothered with nickels and pennies, throw them in a jar. Start an oatmeal fund. Quaker oats. It's the right thing to do. Not too expensive either. Welcome to Somebody's Gotta Play It. This is Wilford Brimley Battle for the NES. It is a ROM hack, and let's get right into the story. I clone Dr. Harvey Kellogg, and soon he will rule breakfast. Even Wilford Brimley and his new clone will not stop my Neo Cornflake empire. Dr. K will destroy all who dare to oppose him. And welcome to Wilford Brimley Battle. Yes, this is a hack of River City Ransom. And we are on the Cornflake Turf, and this is Quaker Oats Central, and we are playing as Wilford Brimley, and look at this madness. This is great. Um, because it is a hack of River City Ransom, it plays like River City Ransom, and right now, Wilford Brimley is getting his ass tossed across the screen. Oh my goodness. Oh man. Anyone who has not played this game will know it is an awesome beat em up, and this is a Wilford Brimley skin, and I guess all the bad guys are supposed to be angry old men or clones of Wilford Brimley. I haven't really decided yet. Oh man. Wilford Brimley is a weak, weak, weak old man. I'm getting my ass handed to me right now. <laughs> oh my goodness. All has lost. Willie, I like now how to call him Willie. are spending more time outdoors burning up all that energy remember it's still important to give them that warm wholesome feeling inside what the hell is going on with Wilford Brimley commercials back then like seriously he was an angry old man back then telling you to eat your oatmeal and not to get the diabetes oh man one thing I have to say I do love about this game is you can pick up your enemies and attack other people with them. I wish this was something that happened in real life. Like, could you imagine you knock some guy over, you pick him up by the legs, he lies perfectly straight like a stick, and you just whack him into your opponents. Oh my goodness. I love this game. I have to say, I highly recommend it. I also highly recommend you play River City Ransom. Um, more so River City Ransom because that's actually the original game and uh, yeah, it's great. Uh, for a ROM hack, this is pretty freaking hilarious. Um, controls are very tight and responsive. You have a good upgrade system. Um, and I mean, aside from the enemies virtually looking the same, that's the only downside. Oh, more story. What's up, Willie? I'm on Dr. K's wife. The doctor wants all of you to have a healthy breakfast and yogurt enemas. What the fuck is a yogurt enema? <laughs> All the cornflakes are tastier than oats anyway. You will never stop the Dr. Cereal Fed Empire. You better eat your Wheaties or you don't have a chance in Hades. Wow. That was very difficult to read. Back in the day, NES text. Oh my goodness. I love that they didn't fix that at all for this uh, hack. Diabetes. Diabetes, fetus, 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 fetus. Would you like spam rolls? Oh, yes, I would like a spam roll. I'm Dr. Wilfred Brimley. Give me all your food. Okay. Mmm, tasty. So, the other big aspect of this game is the cities or towns that you can go and you can buy upgrades. Obviously, they put spam. They have a thing for spam in this game. And I guess they are also fans of Men at Work, whoever designed this hack. Men at Work, for anyone who doesn't know, is a cheesy 80s uh, band. Actually, they're not too bad. I don't mind them. Actually, a few of the records on vinyl. Yay, go Men at Work. Anyway, we are winding down to the end of this game, and basically what I can say is sounds great, plays great, looks great. It's funny as hell. I mean, it's not the most uh, 
drastic hack I've ever seen in the world, but honestly, nobody talks about this game, and more people should. It's a joke, it's fun, and, you know, old people. The only complaint I will say is jumping in this game. Jumping, the platform that they make you do, is not fun. I actually really dislike it. And also randomly running into things and dying. I also dislike that a lot. And the one thing I will say though, the towns act as like your save points in this game. Um, I have yet to find uh, a game over screen. It basically reloads you back to the town over and over and over again. Uh, I have edited out a lot of this video so that you didn't have to see me die over and over and over again. But those who stick with this game will appreciate it. And one thing I can say for advice is run. Just fucking run. Run like an old man. Trust this advice. Good morning. I'm Wilfred Brimley, and I'd like to talk to you for a few minutes about diabetes. Actually, about diabetes and how it's affected me in my life. I'll start when I was first diagnosed. I, uh, I was scared to death. I was experiencing symptoms that were strange and uh, uh, unfamiliar to me. For instance, I had an unquenchable thirst. My tongue felt like a horseshoe rasp. Uh, I was losing my vision. I was losing my energy. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Cheers.